In the next 25 years, one out of every three Americans will have diabetes. Harvard researchers looked at nine prospective studies finding that just one serving of processed meat per day increased risk of developing diabetes by 51%. The link between eating meat and developing diabetes became undeniable. Crazy. Diabetes is not and never was caused by eating a high carbohydrate diet, and it's not caused by eating sugar. The cause of diabetes is a diet that builds up the amount of fat into the blood. I'm talking about a typical meat-based, animal-based diet. You can look into the muscle cells of the human body and you find that they're building up tiny particles of fat that's causing insulin resistance. What that means is the sugar that is naturally from the foods that you're eating can't get into the cells where it belongs. It builds up in the blood and that's diabetes. Everyone thinks that you get diabetic because of carbs. They did a huge study in that EPIC study, 500,000 people. Carbs consumption was inversely related with diabetes. In other words, the more carbs someone ate, the less diabetes they had. But meat was strongly correlated. Get that aha moment. The starches, the carbs are good for you. They're not bad for you. This idea that carbs make you fat is utterly ridiculous. Carbs cannot make you fat in and of themselves. We have storage in our muscles and in our liver for carbs called glycogen. So when we eat carbs, we either store it or we burn it. Now eat fat, that goes straight to your fat. Your body can't turn those carbs into fat unless you're really overdoing the calories. Obesity, it's a death sentence. You're at much higher risk of getting cancer. You're almost certainly going to get diabetes. I mean, no one wants to fat shame, and we all want everybody to be comfortable with our bodies, but this movement to be comfortable with our bodies has made us comfortable with being sick, and that's a huge problem. I go into the hospital, and I look around me, people on dialysis, all these sick people, and just about every disease in there is because of what people are eating. Here's the thing. If I eat a sugary cookie, the sugar lures you in like the Trojan horse, but waiting inside that cookie is a huge load of butter or shortening, and that's what fattens you up, and that's the part that leads to the diabetes. It's the fatty foods, not really so much the sugar. It's not that sugar is good for you. There's no nutrients in it. It's excess calories, but when you eat sugar, you don't get inflammation right away. When you eat sugar, you're not getting plaques forming in your vessels. When you're eating sugar, your body's going to store most of it as glycogen or burn it as calories. And so this focus on sugar has taken all the focus off meat, dairy, eggs, pork, turkey, chicken. Processed meat causes cancer? Sugar doesn't cause diabetes? Worldwide, we're looking at approximately 350 million people with diabetes. There's no question that we're in the midst of a diabetes epidemic. Right now, one in three Medicare dollars is spent in the care of people with diabetes. One in 10 total healthcare dollars is spent on people with diabetes. There's no question that this is a major problem.